Hello everyone, it's Felipe here. Today we're going to take a look at these two recent LEGO Speed Champion sets. So on the left, we've got the Fast and Furious 1970 Dodge Charger RT. And on the right, we've got the uh, 007 Aston Martin DB5. Both read at $35 US dollars and the Charger has a slightly higher piece count uh, with uh, 345 pieces and the DB5 has 298 pieces. And apart from getting the build the iconic um, cars from the uh, franchise, and uh, it is uh, the first time that LEGO include the uh, two characters in minifigure forms. And before I go through my thoughts on both cars, remember to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Let's kick off by looking at the two minifigures, which is the main reason that I bought the set. Um, of course, uh, both cars look really nice from the uh, packaging, but I never thought I would actually get a uh, Dom and James Bond minifigure from an official LEGO set. So on the left, you've got Dom, of course, which is you know, the most famous character uh, from the Fast and Furious franchise with his, uh, you know, really iconic uh, outfit. Um, whether the minifigure looks like, uh, you know, Finn Diesel, you know, it's up for debate. But given that he doesn't have any hair, so there's no uh, alternate facial expression. But, you know, it's a really nice minifigure. The other minifigure, James Bond, you've got a really nice um, printed um, torso of his, uh, you know, iconic outfit. There's some printing on the legs as well um, and you know from all the uh, news article and, and, and the interview with the designer this James Bond is based off the uh, Daniel Craig uh, incarnation of James Bond uh, whether again whether his uh, you know face looks like Daniel Craig is up for debate again uh, but for me you know it's really cool to get the two characters but at the same time you know uh, kind of like the distinct feature that, oh yeah, definitely is this character. Now we'll come back look at the cars. Um, to me, both cars kind of have a quite interesting view because, you know, I, I kind of, you know, view it at the same time and these are two, like, distinct um, vehicles. Uh, so the build experience is uh, significantly different uh, compared to the two models. I think both cars look really good from the exterior and it really kind of gives you um, you know the, the actual looks of the uh, actual cars uh, to me I think in terms of the looks um, you know the DB5 definitely a nicer looking car but in terms of uh, represent the actual model I think um, the uh, Dodge Charger is more realistic and surprisingly, there weren't much uh, sticker. Um, just on the DB5, there are quite a few uh, for the exterior. Um, you know, depending on the lighting, you can't really tell. Um, or unless you look at it like very close, um, then you can notice there's two sticker here. I really wish um, these two uh, printed, uh, given that they already got the headlights and the front wheel and also the back lights printed. Um, so I thought, you know, it's not. That hard to actually print these two here as well and both cars comes with the exclusive uh, wheel style so this one is an exclusive style in um, the, the silver color which looks really nice uh, and the charger has a exclusive print on the wheel cover and i really like the way uh, the db5 used the silver pieces around the uh, edges i think it makes the car looks uh, more classy both guys some very interesting uh, building techniques uh, to uh, recreate um, the, the exterior as realistic as possible. Uh, to me, the Dodge Charger has some uh, really, uh, well, I wouldn't say innovative, but in the end, you know, the, the end result, the, the front and the back look really nice. Now, given Speed Champion is a theme to, um, you know, provide an affordable way to create some of the uh, uh, famous cars. So the, the the play feature itself is really just you know pushing the car along. Uh, I think for the Dodge Charger it's fine, but you know for for the James Bond you you it will be great to kind of integrate some of the uh, special James Bond features into into the car. But unfortunately, I think it's due to the size. Um, it really just a DB5 um, with with you know some some small details kind of 
um, you know, indicating there's some gadgets uh, within the car, but you know, the, the play feature itself will just push the uh, DB5 along a surface. And it's not just about the exterior, of course, you can assess the uh, interior as well. So the DB5 is a uh, 2 plus 2, um, but well, it's probably just 2 plus 1 uh, because uh, the back seat here is not wide enough, like, unless you remove the arms of the Mingu figures. Otherwise, you got a nice uh, gear knob here, a sticker to give a bit more details because it's a English car, and of course, it's going to be uh, right handed. There's a little bit more going on there for the uh, Dodge Charger because it's a street race car, so you've got the uh, roll cage and all the roll bars inside. Uh, what Interesting about this is uh, you've got you know the the iconic um, uh, nose bottle. So you know if Dom switch this, then you activate um, the 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 nose gas and uh, gives uh, the charger some turbo boost. One other thing to highlight on the uh, door charger is the uh, door handle. Here is it's a really really interesting way to create the door handle instead of giving it a sticker. For the DB5, they uh, give you extra pieces for uh, different license plates, uh, which is uh, stickers to kind of represent different era of the uh, James Bond vehicle. For me, I haven't applied yet. I thought, like, you know, it's unlikely that I'm going to switch the license plates around, so I'll just keep it like this for now. But maybe someday when I'm free, I would just, you know, put the sticker on and uh, store the spare pieces somewhere. And this is this, the uh, Speed Champions Fast and Furious Dodge Charger and the 007 Aston Martin DB5, I think. Um, both sets are really cool, it's not that expensive, you often get this car, you've got two nice car kind of from, you know, two very recognizable franchise. And of course, with this size, right, I think they did the best. Uh, and I do think, you know, both cars look, uh, you know, really similar to, to, to the you know actual cars but of course you know uh, the the size kind of limit and you know with lego there's some limitation on some of the the shape and uh, you've got some cool you know exclusive parts in uh, both sets uh, and of course you know how can we not mention the two exclusive uh, mini figures you know it's always always good to get you know some iconic characters in an official uh, lego set whether they really look like the, the, the actual character is open to interpretation, but I appreciate that we now got a Vin Diesel and Daniel Craig in the Lego form. Overall, I'm very happy with both sets, and uh, I do recommend this set to everyone, um, especially you know if you're familiar with, with the franchise and you, you like movies. This uh, is actually uh, both a very good set, and you know, I mean, we heard, all heard rumor that you know next year this uh, you know license uh, speed champions will continue next year, and then hopefully we get some more iconic figures and uh, iconic characters in the uh, minifigure form. And don't forget to let me know what you think about these two sets in the comment section below. If you like this uh, video, be sure to check out my other videos and uh, some of my uh, recent uh, shorts video as well. Um, yeah, then I'll see you next time.